Hello and welcome to this first entry on my developer blog for Ecosim. This is a game I've been working on for several months now and say I'm about midway through. So here's my starting area. I got this rolling procedurally generated plane here, a nice uh, skybox above. Um, with my left hand, I can send out a teleport, explore this terrain a little bit, as you'll notice I'm by this gentle mountain up here. And this uh, terrain goes on endlessly because it's generated as I traverse it. It gives you something to uh, explore. So I'm going to add some things to it. Start by taking this grass seed. I can create one by reaching behind my head, pressing trigger, and letting go. There you can see I've just planted some grass on the ground here. I'll put some more out. And one thing that'll happen over time is that these grass tiles will spread to adjacent tiles. Uh, so like you can see over here, this one's slightly green. It's because this grass is spreading over to this patch of land. And it happens gradually by blending the textures of the dirt and grass. Uh, so this will, eventually this will look like the other ones. And once it gets uh, grassy enough, it'll continue spreading from there. You can see a little bit more patches also becoming grass. So this will just keep going and spreading out. Uh, now to manage the grass, I'm going to bring in some rabbits. So toss a few of these out here. Let's take a look at one of them. So it's got a walk animation. And once it finds a bit of patch of grass that it likes, it goes down and takes a bite out of it. Once it's eaten enough and taken enough calories out of the ground, it'll create a new rabbit, just like that. So the more grass there is, the more the rabbit population is able to expand. Uh, as you can see, I just threw out a couple of rabbits earlier, and there's already considerably more of them. Oh, also, one other thing I'll put out, it's just skipping ahead, is this is a tree seed. I'll throw that on the ground. And it's here, it's in its growing season. It gets bigger. Then after a while, it'll stop, and it'll just stay still for uh, several seconds until it's its next growing season, and then it'll get bigger and bigger. Eventually, when the tree's big enough, it'll create seeds, uh, send them out, and those will lead to more trees. Uh, so if we wait long enough, this will turn into a this one tree will turn into a whole forest. Ah, there you can see it growing again. All right, now let's see something kind of kind of fun here. Bring out a fox. Toss this on the ground. It'll search for rabbits. When a fox sees a rabbit, it'll just continue walking until the rabbit starts running away, uh, and then it'll chase. Ah, and there the chase begins. Occasionally the rabbits dart to the left and right, which can throw the fox off its trail. And then when it catches it, it makes a attack animation and then eats the rabbit. And it's just converting all the calories from the rabbit into food. Uh, once it's eaten all of the rabbit, then it will move on and look for another one. Now, just like rabbits create more rabbits from eating grass, foxes create more foxes by eating rabbits. And if either one is unable to find a food source for too long, then they will starve to death. Here's another chase. Caught it. When's he going to notice? Ah. 
that. Now that fox has just eaten enough to create a second one. So now there's two predators roaming the land. All right, so I'm going to just pause this video for a little while, and let things grow out further, get let the grass continue spreading, the forest get a little bit bigger, and there's one more thing that I'd like to show you in this video. And we are back. So you can see the forest has grown uh, considerably now. You can walk through it, and it's nice, effective VR. You can see it here. You notice some of those trees uh, don't have leaves on them. They're just brown trunks sticking out of the ground. Yeah, here's one. Uh, that's because trees crowd each other out. And so if one tree is too close to another one, then the smaller one will die and just turn into a dead trunk, which will disappear after a while. Uh, seeds will fall off of the trees, and then they'll roll for a few seconds before they plant themselves. Uh, they won't plant if it's too close to another tree, uh, but they, if they're in a decent spot, then they will, will plant themselves and... Uh, sprout from there. So the placement of the trees is semi has this semi-random natural feel to it uh, because it's based on uh, where the trees were able to survive. Uh, here's a little clearing. And then as we look around, we can see that the animals are still keeping each other in balance. Here's a group of rabbits over here. Uh, some foxes finishing up some meals over there. Here's a couple of foxes coming back in uh, from an earlier hunt. Uh, one other thing that keeps down the frame rate in this game, because that's potentially a problem when you have lots of objects with their own independent logic. Um, oh, two of them chasing a rabbit. Oh, might might escape. Ah, no, not quite. So that one got it. As you can also see, they're able to navigate through the forest, uh, not being overly thrown off by, by trees. Sometimes run into them a little bit, but they always manage to get by. Ah, finally caught it. Oh, yeah, as I was saying about uh, frame rate, when you're far away from uh, any object, whether it's a tree or a grass tile uh, or um, an animal, they'll just freeze and stop moving uh, whenever they're beyond the, the clipping plane that you can see. Uh, so that puts a hard limit on the number of objects that have to be computed by the game at any given time. So no matter how big the world or how much you fill it, uh, the frame rate is always going to be manageable. So next, last but not least, I'm going to clear some of this stuff out by setting it on fire. So I got a fireball object right here. Create it the same way as anything else. I'm going to throw it at one of these trees. See, it just explodes into flame, catches other trees around it on fire. Uh, the trees, instead of dropping pine cones, drop fireballs to the ground, which then catch the grass on fire. And then the grass fire spreads along the grass, burning it out until it runs out of fuel and disappears. See a bunch of dead trees here as they're being cleared out. However, the fire doesn't catch everything. Some trees and some grass tiles manage to escape and are able to reseed and recreate uh, the, the whole forest and ecology. Uh, although the trees have a little bit better chances of survival than grass. Animals, uh, you can see when they see the fire, they perceive it as threats. So as this... Rabbit sees the wall of fire, it runs away. Foxes also run away from fire. Uh, you can see the fire spread quite a bit. Let's take a look over here. 
Okay, it seems to have died out on this side. But still going strong this way. Uh, and you can also see the animals are able to catch on fire. You can also set animals on fire yourself if you like. So if you take this fireball. Burn it. And it just disappears. See if anything manages to survive. Okay, so this grass tile looks like it's going to be pretty safe, as is this one. Uh, if a rabbit can escape some of the foxes and find the grass, then the... Well, all it takes is one. Probably not this one. Foxes are clever, but not enough to let some live just out of a focus on the future. Now another thing that might happen is this, these guys keep it up for too long, eventually they'll likely starve since they burn up more calories when they're running than when they're walking. Oh, looks like that one got it. So this fox, if it's not able to find any food soon, yeah, it just starved to death. But these rabbits over here managed to have escaped the flames and are safely away from most of the foxes in the scene. So they might actually, they might live through it. Oh, you can see some starvation happened over here. Fire's still going over on this side. Although it's likely because I was too far away from it for it to burn out before. So I'll just stand by to see it finish itself off. Now, uh, one effect of this, this game is that tiles that have been partially eaten uh, will burn up faster and cause it less likely for the fire to spread to adjacent tiles. So in a way... Rabbits are able to prevent forest fires, so it's not all on you. But you can see the forest is already starting to regenerate itself. The trees are largely back. There are areas where the rabbits are have regrouped and are starting to come back up in numbers. At least a few of the foxes have managed to find some rabbits, although most of them looks like they're going to starve. Um, but it's just enough for that little spark of life to that if I wait long enough, I'll probably have a, a full ecosystem again, despite the massive devastation of that fire. So that's it for Ecosim. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see future updates on the progress of this game. Plans for things to add next. Uh, there's a few little bug fixes and tweaks, but the, the big thing is uh, I want to reintegrate some features that were present in the earlier version of the game where you can pick up rabbits or foxes and, and be able to possess them and play as a rabbit or a fox. So if you're a rabbit, you can can move around and you can eat grass and then the foxes look really big and you have to run away from them uh, and then if you play as a fox then you try to chase and hunt down rabbits without starving um, and possibly also play as a tree just why not uh, stand in one place and throw seeds around and hope you don't burn um, additionally uh, plans for other animals that I want to add include uh, wolves that can eat both foxes and rabbits and actually pretty much everything uh, that's an, an animal. Uh, deer, which can be hunted by wolves but not foxes uh, and can defend themselves a small amount. Uh, moose that like deer but can defend themselves a little better. 
um, boar, which are real fighters, but uh, omnivorous. So they'll eat dead animals and fight against anything that's attacking them, um, but not chase after rabbits, for example. Um, and then after that, it'd be time for playtesting and see what it takes to make it something that is ready to publish. And the basic mechanics working, it's just a matter of adding more content. So once again, I hope you all enjoyed this, and until next time, I'm Will Patillo, signing out.